Hey, what's up everybody? Mr. Hollywood back once again uh, tonight. We've got the uh, tutorial set up here for Final Fight and this one's going to be very simple. I'm going to have you up and running in under two minutes uh, with all the controls for every game. And I'm going to set this up with no extra buttons needed. If you have them, that's great. If not, no worries here. First, let's hit Tab. I mean Escape. Hit the Escape button and then let's exit out here. So on the uh, menu here you're gonna click yes hit enter and this will bring us to the command line here uh, you're gonna want to type out emulation station and then hit enter now you may not see uh, a cursor on here or the words being typed out uh, that is because we want to have a clean setup uh, when the game's launched there's no cursor there's no text or anything uh, but it still works here, and we're not going to need to use this uh, uh, for much anyway. Uh, loads up here, uh, set up your keyboard initially, all the buttons, have that set up. Once your keyboard's set up, hit start, and uh, configure input, and I'm going to input both of our controls. Now, the easiest way to set this up is having your attack button as the B button, and the jump button as your A button. This will pretty much configure all the final burn alpha ROMs, which is like 80% of the ROMs in this image. Uh, your player 1, player 2 buttons could be whatever you want. Um, but this is the simplest I find. If not, we could still change this later on, so it doesn't matter. So set up all your controls. Once done, let's go to RetroPie menu under Raspi Config. We're going to need to expand the file here and enable SSH because when I create the image, I shrink it down. Uh, once in here, you're going to go to Advanced Option, the seventh one down, and then the first one here, Expand File System. This will allow you to move files in there so you don't run out of space. And then Interfacing Options, Enable SSH. Uh, next, set up your Wi-Fi. Pretty uh, straightforward here. I'm not going to get into that. And then uh, we're going to go to Retro Arch. Here we're going to set up our controls, have our Player 1 as our Coin and Start button, and have all the buttons configured. All right, once in the main menu, go to Settings, uh, press A. Go down to Input, press A again. And then we're going to go to Hotkey Binds first. Let's set up our hotkeys. Set up your Quit Retro Arch on here. If you're using a dedicated button, you're going to make your quit retroarch and your hotkey as the same button. If you're doing a button combo, uh, set up your hotkey and your quit retroarch as the two buttons, so whether it's player one and A or player one and B, whatever you want. All right, let's back out and then we're going to go to port one binds. We're going to input our first controller, first joystick there. Um, as the select button, we're going to make this as our player one button. If you have a coin button, then that's fine. But if not, set that up. And also your start button is going to be the same thing as your player one. This way, when you hit player one, it's going to act as your coin and your start button. Uh, next, uh, so your B and A button should be configured. If not, you could set it up here if you did not uh, set it up correctly initially. But that should be done. Your uh, first button should be the B, and the A button should be your second button. Next, let's set up our Y button as the same button as you did for the A. Okay, so that jump button is going to be Y. The reason for this, MAME uses B and Y, Final Burn Alpha uses B and A. So that will set up all controls. To save this, you go up to Save Auto Config on top. Uh, this will save your controls. Uh, next, do port 2, same thing, same procedure as you did for your first controls. You're going to do player 2 on here and this will map out every game on this to be set up correctly. Uh, back out all the way to the main menu, configuration file, go down to that, press A, and then we're going to come down to save current configuration. So save all our hotkeys and everything that we did. All right, now there's a couple of games on here, uh, I believe like eight or nine of them, uh, that use the MAME 2010 uh, emulator. And for these, uh, they work. The only problem is the B and the A button are flipped, uh, meaning your jump, let's say your jump and punch, 
Um, instead of uh, B, it'll be A, and B will be the other. It's going to work for the game, but if it, you don't like that or the, that bothers you, you could go into these uh, ROMs. Uh, same thing as any uh, MAME uh, emulator. Just hit the tab button, go down to uh, input this game, and you could just set up your button 1 and button 2 to be the right ones. Uh, if it, like I said, if that's not a problem for you, then you're done. We're, we're done with our controls on here. Uh, let's uh, reboot and let's go back to our attract mode main menu. All right, back at the main menu. Not much to do here. If you guys want to um, change the layout, the team on here, all you're going to do is uh, press tab on the keyboard and then come down to displays, press enter. And then come down to Arcade. And then on top here in the layouts, you could switch, change if you want to use the other layout. Uh, also, in the tab section down there, Controls, if you want to configure your controls, let's say you want to make a uh, player both joysticks to work, to navigate, or to select games, you could add additional inputs and have both joysticks operate the main menu or additional buttons to select the game. Add and remove joysticks here. So if you press uh, on it there, right there, add input. And um, that's pretty much it. That, Like I said, that covers that very simple setup. Easy, quick. Uh, you really don't have to uh, go configure each game by game. Uh, like I said, if you do the uh, step uh, process like I uh, mentioned on here, maybe those eight games or nine games on there, if you want to flip those. Uh, like I said, it's not much. Uh, total, I think there's like 47, almost 50 games on here. And that should be set up easy. Like I said, maybe under two minutes or less. Have a good day, everybody.